welcome back uh, <clears throat> so today in this tutorial we shall learn how to create a screen recorder in python so uh, like many times we wonder how to how to capture your screen like or uh, for a tutorial purpose or how to make a video for your steps so <clears throat> so no worries uh, you can do that easily in python so uh, in this tutorial we shall learn how to create a simple screen recorder using python utility okay uh, so we will be doing uh, <coughs> the tutorial on that so uh, before that let me introduce you to my channel uh, this is a channel for shell scripting uh, cloud computing linux and python programming so if you are new to this channel please subscribe for such tutorials okay and uh, let's go ahead and start the process so let me just uh, give you a flow of the tutorial today so we are going to uh, create a screen recorder for that we are going to capture the screen as a snapshot and then we are going to store those snapshots into an array and then we are going to create a video uh, uh, and we are going to write that into a file and that way we'll be creating a screen recorder okay so for that we are going to need uh, to create uh, a codec for the video first and then we will create a video writer and then we will uh, use a while loop to capture the screen and then that way we'll create the screen recorder okay so I have this PyCharm installed with me. If you don't have it, no worries. You can write the program in a simple notepad as well. Okay. Uh, so yeah, here we go. So I have created a new file here. So just just give it a name like that. So you can go here and just right click and click on new Python file, and then give it a name. So so here are you gonna need some modules before you start. So you're gonna need OpenCV for Python and then you're gonna need numpy and then you're gonna need uh, what is the third one you're gonna need auto uh, pi auto gui to capture the screen okay so i'll just import the necessary module so cv2 is the open cv python so if i see here these these modules are already present in my system if it does not if it is not there here you will get an error and at the same time you can uh, click here and install them right away from this console itself and the third one i'm going to i'm ne i'm going to need is uh, pi auto gui okay so if it is not installed in your system you can directly go to your uh, 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 command prompt as well uh, and then from here also you can install like pip3 install and then let's say numpy okay so if you do that uh, if it is not present it will install it from here so I'm going to use here Python 3 okay version 3 remember that okay and then so you can see it is already satisfied so if it is not there you can install it that way okay other way to install the module is if you just give a name here and if it is not present it will ask you as a suggestion here to install and that way you can install directly from here so it is already present let's go ahead okay so first of all uh, what we are going to do is we are going to create, define the codec okay so for that we will do cv2 dot video writer for cc codec okay so here we will be giving the uh, defined value which is uh, xvid okay so these are the codec value okay next is uh, we need the f the screen size of your system so how will we get that so we have this uh, I'll just give it a sm uh, small name like like pgi okay uh, pgi okay so then pgi dot size so this will give you a tuple value which is nothing but the screen size of your system and just you can store it into a variable okay next thing is that we are going to uh, create the video writer which will store the the recording into a file okay so what we'll do we'll do cv2 dot video writer and then it will uh, be needing four values so it so so it will ask you for a uh, file name then the codec value then the fps which is frames per second and then the frame size okay 
so video writer so you can give any any name which will be the file name of the output okay so let's say i'll give c in my c folder let's say i have a games folder and then i'll, I'll just give a, like my video okay dot uh, avi okay you can give it like that and always remember you should give the path with double slash okay so because otherwise it will throw an error okay then, then the second thing you are going to need is uh, uh, the uh, the frames per second also you need and then you need the 4cc value the, the codec value so here it will give you an output so just uh, you know just define it like that and that output you can give it here so you need the codec value and then the frames per second so this moment we are going to define as 20 okay and then you, you have to define you have to specify the screen size okay so uh, yeah so this is these are the four values that you need so what we have done so far and we have created the uh, the video writer okay and then we are going to use this video writer to store the output okay fine now we are done with the basic stuff we are going to run the while loop while true, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, take the snapshot of this uh, screen. Okay, so for that we are we have this function called uh, screenshot. Okay, so if you just give screenshot, it will uh, uh, capture the whole screen. So if you want to capture a particular area of your screen, you can give uh, the coordinates like uh, you know like a t like a four values like top. Uh, left uh, down right okay yeah and then you have to uh, okay so he, at this moment I'm just going to record the entire screen so I'm not giving the coordinates at this moment and then I'm storing the output to a I image value which is IMG and then what I will do is I will uh, store this uh, IMG into an array so I'll just give like an numpy okay numpy dot array okay array and then i will just give this img value into this and the output i will store into frames okay fine right so that way i am going to store the images array into frame okay next thing i am going to do is i will uh, convert the frame into rgv format okay so some so what is happening is by default the cv2 will give you a, a, a bgr value okay it's the color code format so i'll just uh, uh, convert it into okay so convert color okay so frames we are going to convert it into uh, cv2 dot color i'm sorry cv2 dot color color underscore underscore uh, uh, B uh, BGR BGR to RGB okay RGB okay so this is the conversion I am doing for the color code okay next thing I am going to do is so now our frames is accurate because see if you know you, you need to convert it to write it into the file okay then I am going to write it into the file so output dot write and then I am going to write the frames into this okay so this is how I am going to store the output into the video writer okay next thing so I, I need to quit this is quit the recording right okay so for that purpose I can press Q or a certain key to exit it okay so and at, at the same time I will just uh, make a show as well okay so frames so CV2 dot I am show okay and then I'll just uh, uh, display the uh, frame and at this moment I can just give it a title to this name okay like 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 recording or something okay fine and then let's just uh, try the logic for exit okay so if cv2 dot wait key okay one equal equal if we are giving like ORD if we are giving the key as Q 
and then what we are going to do is we are going to break the loop okay so that way we'll come out on the loop okay so this is how this is the exit logic logic okay fine so we are done with this and then what we are going to at the end we are going to do is that we are going to release everything so we are going to destroy the uh, destroy all the windows and we are going to release the output writer video writer okay so this is the entire concept at this moment so let me just try okay so here you, you may have to mention colon okay so let's see how it works okay so let's just try to run it how let's see if any error or something okay so you can see it is running uh, let me check if anything is going wrong here yeah so you can see I'm getting some error so what is the error here uh, line number 13 okay line number 13 I'll go back to line number 13 okay so here okay I'm sorry here I have to give comma okay because it takes two attributes uh, one is the the title and then second is the the value that you want to show okay fine <coughs> I'll try to write it again so you can do it so you can do it either through shift F10 as well so if I run this I may see what is happening okay yeah so you can see uh, I'm getting the frames here and the title of the frame is recording okay so if you press Q at this moment let me just go back to some some of the other values so that it will look like a video okay so I'll just go back here and just if I press Q so it is exiting so if I run, the moment I press Q the the loop is breaking out okay and then if I uh, just uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just uh, so I have saved the output into games and my video okay let's go back to okay we go back to games and my video okay so this is my output okay let me just try if it is working or not okay so remember it is only recording the screen it's not recording the uh, audio okay so I'll just play it yeah okay so you can see uh, the the screen is being recorded I did everything that I did is being captured here okay so it is as good as a video which is captured okay fine so this is the output and outcome of the screen recorder coming back to our program so this is how you can capture your screen okay and then you can create a video out of that so this is very simple guys and uh, you just need three modules cv2 which is open cv for python then numpy for showing the image into an array and then you need pi auto gui to capture the screen okay fine so and then like you you have to follow these steps which i have summarized here okay so this is very simple try it out and the there are several variations on that you know you can add audio to that so if you add audio to your recording it will become exactly like a video recorder with the with the with your sound okay with a voice and then also you can add more modifications like you know keys to stop pause the recording and etc etc okay so try it out and let me know what you feel about it and uh, please subscribe my channel and thanks for watching. Okay. Bye-bye.